how oil sands operators report air pollutants uses estimates from the ground. But when scientists actually tested the air from above, the results were far worse. Those emissions were substantially higher than what industry is reporting to inventories. Pollutants 20 to 64 times higher, according to their research published in the journal Science. They were also roughly equal to all of the uh, organic carbon emissions summed up across the entire country. What they found were a lot of volatile hydrocarbons, the kind you might see warnings about on paint thinners or nail polish remover. Highly reactive, they change as they mix with air and sunlight. Ultimately, what that means is, though, that it forms tiny particles in the air, uh, which uh, the hydrocarbons are a health risk themselves, but the tiny particles are something we track a lot as being a health concern. Tiny particles like those found in the wildfire smoke that blanketed cities last year. So small, they can travel far and deep into lung tissue. And we know they cause everything from um, cardiovascular events, so heart attacks, strokes, uh, arrhythmias, as well as having an impact on mortality. This research does not draw a connection from the emissions found to diseases in communities, but experts say finding such high amounts in any part of the country is important to understanding health impacts. They are also present in our cities uh, in unknown amounts. And the, uh, the measurement technique they got and the views in the oil sands now is something that can be used you know, in, in Toronto. We put the stark findings to both industry and the federal government. The group that represents the major oil sands company says the difference in measurement is worth reviewing. Meanwhile, the environment ministry says it could lead to improvements on how emissions are tracked. Anand Ram, CBC News, Toronto.